And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. Simone Biles recently opened up about her time at the Olympics and says she should have left before Tokyo. We speak to our panel on the pressures athletes face and how it can affect their mental health. And our guests are here on the Factor Uncensored to talk about the pressures that many athletes out there feel we have all watched and seeing the Simone Biles situation with the Olympics and how she decided to pull out because of mental health pressures uh, from competing in a very competitive sport. Joining me now here on The Factor on Sensor, we have a uh, former NFL player, Najee Torin, on The Factor on Sensor. Glad to have you here. When we think about the pressures that you athletes have to endure on that national stage, how difficult is it for you uh, with the pressures of the public? Um, me personally, I, I kind of find up my own ways to tune it out of the pressures coming from all different angles, family, uh, the game, fans as well. Um, you, you it's very, uh, consuming. It, it can consume you all night. It can keep you up if you allow it, but you have to find ways for yourself that'll keep you level-headed. Were there ever times where you said to yourself, like Simone did, uh, I just need a break. I'm, I'm walking away today, or at least for the next couple of weeks. Definitely. Yeah, it, it's time. You, you have to take yourself away from it. Some guys do it uh, in the off season. They find it, uh, that that's their time to get away. Um, some guys, they find different ways during the season to, to get away from it. Me personally, I have uh, came to my point where I had to say, you know what, enough is enough, and I have to remove myself from this and just go, I, I went about my, my way. Also here on The Factor Uncensored, we have psychotherapist and licensed uh, professional counselor, Glenda Demas. Glenda, when you hear athletes say that, that sometimes you have to just find your own space and take a break from all of that public pressure, are they doing the right thing? Absolutely they are. A lot of athletes have been coached to understand or feel like there's a major stigma attached to protecting their mental health. But research studies have shown that 35% of elite athletes struggle with a mental health condition that begins to manifest in anxiety, depression, eating disorders, which will cause them to experience a lack of performance. So why not give them the opportunity to say, hey, I need a mental break. I need to take a step back so that I can find my balance and then move forward. I personally think every team should have a mental health professional on call to support those athletes so that they don't feel like they're alone and they're left to try to figure out what should I do to support my mental health. Najee, would, do you think that would be a good idea? And would the players, the athletes out there be willing to see a professional counselor if the team, the organization, made it available? Uh, I, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of guys that uh, go and see counselors. Definitely teams that have counselors and priests, and they, they provide those services for you. But it's up to you to take advantage of them. But definitely, athletes would definitely would, would, would love stuff like that because we understand the mental health side of it. Now, Glenda, when, when should you recognize you need that break, whether you're a professional athlete or you're an attorney, um, a doctor? When does the signs, what, what are some of the signs you should be able to recognize that, say, that, that will tell you it's time to take a break? So when you notice yourself becoming a little bit more irritable than normal, for example, if someone approaches you with just the most simple question and you find yourself elevated in your response, or if you are not sleeping at night, it's hard for you to get rest. As he stated, if you are dealing with these things, these thoughts that are ruminating is stopping you from sleeping, well, it's stopping you from being able to function as well because sleep is your best way for you to be able to recharge and reset your body. So if you're not being able to sleep, if your mood is elevated, you're irritable, you're angry, you're not eating, those are clear cut signs that you need to back up and take a break. Now that doesn't always mean that you need to seek the help of a mental health professional. That just means that you need to kind of back up and put some things into perspective. 
Now, to give some examples or some identifiers when it's time to seek a mental health professional for support is when you are experiencing longer periods of sadness. You're isolating yourself. You are turning to, you know, chemical substances to elevate your mood, such as marijuana, um, alcohol, things like that. When you experience that, then that's when it's time for you to seek the support of a mental health professional. And remember, those rules don't just apply to athletes and celebrities. If you have an everyday job like me and you're feeling the pressure of that job, then contact the EAP, that's the Employee Assistance Program, at your job. If they have one, call that hotline. Get the assistance you need and give a break. Get a break. Take a break so you won't go over the edge.